Our question today uh, from our viewer is, uh, they have asked um, the standard bone scan. Is that the only way to determine the health of bones or is there another more accurate way or test? Oh my, interesting question. And behind that question is concerns about osteoporosis and losing bone density, etc. <clears throat> and the DEXA scan that measures bone density, how dense your bones are, is a pretty crude uh, measure of the, quote, health of bones, which, the, which was wise for the asker of that question to use that phrasing. Because just because your bones look dense on a scan doesn't necessarily mean they're healthy. Uh, people are taking uh, Fosamax and these other drugs that paralyze the osteoclast cells in, in the bones. Uh, their bones look denser on x-ray, but are they healthier? Are they stronger? Do they withstand fractures better? There's lots of concern about that. Um, it's very common for, especially women in, in our society, the Caucasian ones, especially in the, those of Asian extraction, uh, to have low bone density, especially the petite women. They're, they're, they uh, ask so little of their bones as they walk around. Our, our bones respond to our using them. When we uh, carry a, a load on our shoulder, every step you take sends a gravitational force down your spine, down your hips, down your femurs and your, the bone cells in your bones respond to, to your using them and they spin out more bone. And it's quite like your muscles. You use, uh, you use your muscles, they get stronger, they hypertrophy, they, they get uh, more functional. You stop using them and they atrophy, they shrink down. Well, bones work the same way. And so getting that bone scan showing telling you how dense it is it's, it doesn't really tell you how really healthy your bones are and on some level it doesn't matter now, assume that you've got lowish bone density if you've been living a sedentary lifestyle like we all are assume that you've got lowish bone density in this modern age you know 300 years ago we wouldn't be sitting in front of a computer we'd be out and gathering firewood or working in the garden using heavy tools and lifting buckets of soil and, and putting, having uh, loads of hay and uh, shingles on our, uh, on our shoulders here. And osteoporosis wasn't a problem in people living physical lives, but it is now. We've abandoned all that and now our bones are dissolving here. So I invite people to go to my website, drclapper.com, uh, and click on um, the uh, videos. And you'll see a video called Healthy Bones. And I go into uh, how to keep your bones strong. Because you just like you can make your muscles strong, you can make your bones strong too. And whether your bone density is up, down, it doesn't matter. Uh, you want to start using your bones. Uh, get some elastic bands and start stressing your bones. Get a little weighted vest and grab a couple of hand weights and go for a walk every day. Uh, start using your bones against gravity. You know, never miss a chance to walk upstairs. Never miss a chance to carry packages. You show your bones you love them, and they'll love you back by making more bone, by getting themselves stronger. So it doesn't matter on some level what the DEXA scan shows. Uh, assume we all have lowish bone density these days, uh, unless you're just a, an active athlete. Uh, but again, even the, you know, the swimmers, the cyclists, uh, even the runners, don't ask much of them. They get low bone density because they, it's not weight-bearing activity. So uh, use those bones, keep them strong, uh, and don't, don't worry about the scans. It uh, doesn't matter. Uh, follow my advice in the Healthy Bones webinar, and you'll know how to make your bones stronger. Lots of good advice there. And, and yes, uh, eat those dark leafy green vegetables. Have a little extra protein in your diet. Have an extra hummus sandwich or scoop of lentil stew. You need the proteins and the vitamins and the minerals. And a little bit of calcium. You don't need... 1,500 milligrams of calcium in a tablet. You wind up calcifying your arteries doing that, calcifying your tendons. Uh, if you, uh, a supplement should have no more than 200, 500 at the most. Get your calcium out of dark green leafy vegetables and fortified orange juice or soy milk. Uh, there's, you don't want to be taking those calcium tablets. People who do uh, run into problems uh, with their arteries and, uh, uh, and other tissues calcifying. It's so kind of a long rambling answer, but, but just getting that DEXA scan, well, you have osteopenia, you ask me, well, now what do I do? The answer is always the same. Start using your bones against gravity. And, uh, and I go into it on my Healthy Bones webinar. So uh, hopefully that will answer the, 
The question is, uh, low bone density is an occupational hazard of living in the 21st century, especially now in COVID times when we're all spending so much time at home. I'm sure a lot of calcium is going down the toilet uh, because our bones are, are not being used. So make it a point to uh, do those, uh, those strengthening exercises um, on a daily basis and uh, keep your bones strong that way. They'll stay healthy and it doesn't matter a heck of a lot what the bone scan says, truth of it is. Hi everyone, Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q&A with Dr. K. Each day, Annie Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our daily Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.